Hi everyone, Dan Sobel here for Storytime, and we're going to be reading a, a very cool story today. <laughs> so, I'm going to be telling you guys a very cool story. We're going to be reading this book. It's called The Story of Ferdinand. It's written by Munro Leaf and drawings by Robert Lawson. So, let's get on to it. Once upon a time in Spain, there was a little bull, and his name was Ferdinand. All of little bulls he lived with run, li he lived with, would run and jump and butt their heads together. But Ferdinand, he liked to he liked to sit just quietly and smell the flowers. He had a favorite spot out in the pasture, under a court tree. It was his favorite tree, and he would sit in his shade all day and smell the flowers. Sometimes his mother, who was a cow, would worry about him. She was afraid he would be lonesome all by himself. Why don't you run and play with the other little bulls and skip your and butt your head? She would say, but Ferdinand would like um, would shake his head. I like it better here where I can sit just quietly and smell the flowers. His mother saw that he was not lonesome and because she was an understanding mother, even though she was a cow, she let him just sit there and be happy. As the years went by, Ferdinand grew and grew until he was very big and strong. All of the other bulls who had grown up with him in in some pasture would fight each other all day. They would be butt each other and stick each other with their horns. What they wanted most of all was to pick and to fight at the bull fight in Mandarin. But not Ferdinand. He still liked to sit just quietly under the court tree and smell the flowers. One day, five men came in very funny hats to pick the biggest, fastest, roughest bull to fight in the bull fights in Madrid. All the other bulls ran around snorting and butting, leaping and jumping so the mean would think that they were very, very strong finerists and pick them. Ferdinand knew that they wouldn't pick him, and he didn't care, so he went out to his favorite cork tree and sat down. He didn't look where he was sitting, and instead of sitting on the nice cool grass in the shade, he sat on a bumblebee. Well, if you were a bumblebee and a bull sat on you, what would you do? You would sting him. And that is just what the bee, this bee did to Ferdinand. Wow, did that, did it hurt? Ferdinand jumped up with a snort. He ran around puffing and snorting, butting and pawing the ground as if he were crazy. The five men saw him and they all shouted with joy. Here was the largest and fierest bull of all, just one for the bull fights of Madrid. So they took him away for the bull fight day in a cart. What a day it was. Flags were flying 
bands were playing, and all the loving ladies had flowers in their hair. They had a parade into a bull, the bull ring. First came the banderillos, with long sharp pins with ribbons on them to stick in the bull and make him mad. Next came the picarard, 